to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Mary was troubled at the saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. Then Mary said to angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Mary said to angel, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take you, marry your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Then Joseph arose from sleep and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So everyone went to their own cities to be registered. And Joseph also went up from Galilee to Judea to the city of David which is called Bethlehem, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. While they were there, she brought forth her son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them. That night in the fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds were keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. That the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you in this day, in the city of David, a Saviour who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sight to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Hey! Hey, the king has won! The, the, king, has been the born. king has been born. Let's go, come Let's on! Go. Let us go! Let us go! Worship him! Yes! Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? 
for we have seen a star in the east and have come to worship him when herod heard these things he was troubled and called the chief priests and scribes where the christ was to be born go and search diligently for the young child and when you have found bring me word that i too may come and worship him when they had listened to the king they went their way and behold the star which has been seen in the east in its rising went before them until it came and stood over the place where the young child was when they saw the star they were thrilled with joy and on going into the house they saw the child and mary his mother and they bowed down and worshiped him then opening their treasure bags they presented to him gifts gold frankincense and myrrh